The pilot of an airplane uses a constant stream of information, airspeed, altitude, compass readings, weather conditions, to keep his airplane on course. A project manager also needs constant input from a range of sources to ensure that the project is delivered on time and within specifications. The control schedule process provides you with clear methods for keeping your project on schedule. There are four aspects of schedule control. Ensuring there's a way to check on the current status of the project schedule at all times. Using preventive measures and being proactive in avoiding schedule slippage. Having a monitoring system that alerts the project manager whenever there is a change that threatens the schedule. And managing changes as they occur by putting them through the project's change control system. Updates to the schedule baseline must always be checked in terms of how they affect the scope and the budget of a project. For example, a project manager is working on an advertising campaign project for a major client. She learns that the usual supplier will be three days late in delivering paper for a set of brochures for the client. This will cause an unacceptable delay since the client wants the brochures out at least five days before a television advertisement is aired. So the project manager needs to find a new supplier. The change in supplier affects procurement relationships and the budget because the company enjoys favored status with the original supplier. Additionally, the paper from the new supplier needs to be of the same or similar quality to the paper ordered from the original supplier. There are several inputs you will need to control the project schedule effectively. Two areas of the project management plan are inputs, the schedule baseline and the schedule management plan. The schedule baseline is an approved version of the project schedule and contains baseline start and finish dates. This document provides the basis for measuring and reporting schedule performance. The schedule management plan describes the circumstances in which schedule changes are allowed and how these changes should be made. After schedule change requests have been approved, they become another input for controlling the schedule. The most recent version of the project schedule includes notations to reflect updates and to show which activities have been started or completed. You need to revise the schedule whenever necessary so it reflects approved changes in project deadlines and milestones. Work performance data includes the captured status of how much work has been performed by work groups or individuals. It provides the actual dates and durations of work activities. You use this data to compare work performed against the original plan for the project. Project calendars provide information on work periods for activities and this information is used to calculate schedule forecasts. Schedule data includes schedule milestones, schedule activities, activity attributes, and documentation of all identified assumptions and constraints. All of this information is critical when monitoring the status of project activities so you can track when the schedule isn't going as planned. Organizational process assets that serve as inputs to the control schedule process include schedule control tools, policies, procedures, and guidelines for controlling the schedule, and monitoring and reporting methods. Keeping organizational goals at the heart of every improvement project is crucial. The Balance Scorecard is a communication tool that presents a summary or snapshot of performance, enables you to compare actual and expected performance, determines how activities impact each other, and highlights gaps and offers gap-closing solutions. Using metrics identified in the Balance Scorecard, analysis can be carried out comparing the actual and expected performance of the organization. When analyzing the balance scorecard, observations and well-informed decisions can be made with respect to the interaction of processes and the collection of data. Sound interpretation of the balance scorecard will provide an accurate identification of gaps and offer gap-closing solutions. Project metrics are the primary indicators of a project's progress, particularly to stakeholders, so it's crucial that the project metrics you select measure project success in relation to organizational goals. The Balanced Scorecard can help you identify well-aligned metrics that can be used when reporting on projects to project leaders. These metrics provide key performance indicators for the organization. A well-defined system for providing metrics provides people with relevant, timely, accurate, and meaningful information, helps them make consistently better decisions, 
and helps them to act to support business objectives. In summary, the control schedule process provides you with clear methods for keeping your project on schedule. Updates to the schedule baseline must always be checked in terms of how they affect the scope and the budget of a project. And finally, the balance scorecard is a communication tool that presents a summary of performance.